What's up guys? Coming at you from Wellfleet this morning. We are going out with the Mass Audubon Wellfleet Bay on a turtle walk. Wellfleet is home to the northernmost range of the Diamondback Terrapin. <clears throat> Diamondbacks are the only turtle in North America to inhabit brackish water, which is where salt water meets fresh water. Uh, hey! hey. Uh, Perfect, all right, I'll we'll follow you. Thanks for taking us out today. There's actually a nest that did hatch. I just saw the text because the Okay guys, it's coming down pretty good here, but they have a hatch nest and we're on our way out to go process it. We'll get to see some baby turtles. We come out mid-June to mid-July and that's nesting season and we will basically just look for signs of nesting and we'll dig down, find the first egg, cover it back up and put on the PE, or the protective enclosure, which is this metal chicken wire. We're just cleaning our sand off. Oh. These guys look very healthy. And we also spritz them down to see if they have any maggots or red ants on them. If so, we really want to spritz them down good before we release them. Is there an average number of turtles per nest usually? Yeah, so we get, I'd say around like 12 to 20, it really varies. The females will generally have two clutches. So if you see here, that's their yolk sac. Um, if that was still bulging out and not absorbed fully, we would bring them back to the lab. So yeah, these guys are all just on the surface. We haven't even wow. opened up the chamber of the nest yet. They have this egg tooth right at the tip of their nose. So how big do these type of turtles get? So the females get about dinner plate size. Okay. And then the males are about half that. Wow. So they're pretty small, but they're really, really good swimmers. Kind of close, right so they just processed that nest and we are off to release these turtles. They were all um, developed enough to be released today. You don't want to put them all in the same area because of predation. Got it. So we'll kind of spread them out. I try to put them under like a bigger tree or like a any piece of vegetation that they can use for protection. Almost dig a little hole or like spread out the, the rack so they can basically touching soil and then you kind of cover them back up cool. so they can stay protected. And yeah, the tide comes in through here so they could get to the marsh whenever they please. We just released the hatchlings and now we're on our walk back. We're checking the nest one more time. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. This conservation work is vitally important in order to protect these turtles in the salt marshes it calls home. Every turtle bracelet you purchase through Cape Clasp ensures that terrapins have protected nesting habitats and that thousands of hatchlings are released into the wild each year. Thanks for watching.